everyone. My name is Pablo Andres Espitia. I'm a fourth year chemical engineering student and I'm running to be your ship UA president. Before I begin, I'd like to thank everyone for sticking around. This is definitely one of the longest meetings that we have and it is now 7.18 p.m. and we're still here. I'm very amazed to see the turnout that we've had for the nominees this year. It is incredible to see all of your speeches and I wish you all the best of luck for it. It definitely shows how much we care about this organization and that we want to make sure that we have our full trust in the upcoming executive board. Back to why I'm here. To put it simply, it's because of all of you. I first heard of SHIP when I, from my RA back in the New Start Summer program. He did admit that he wasn't one of the most active members, but he did say that this organization was one that definitely helped their members, both uh, develop themselves professionally and also help them develop leadership skills. But it also included lots of community outreach, which is something that resonated with me. I wanted to check this out because back in high school, I was certainly not someone that enjoyed being in the center of attention or talking to a crowd. Here I am. <laughs> I owe a lot to this organization because it has helped me grow and it's taught me to be confident. As a freshman, I was very nervous during the first meeting because I saw all the students just mingled up in their own groups, talking about the summer and their classes, and there I was, that noob. <laughs> and it's not that it was a bad thing, that's just how this organization is and how it works, this familia. I was quiet and occasionally talked to the person that was next to me during the meetings, went to some of the events, but in most part, for the most part, I kept to myself. I later signed up for the internal mentorship program because I would appreciate another student's advice. My mentor encouraged me to go to the career fair and as a freshman. And had it not been for his advice and also that it was one of the requisites for my engineering classes, I probably wouldn't have been. <laughs> not only that, he took the time out of his day to actually help me sign up for my future classes. And that meant a lot to me. This mentor was Gabriel Mercado, which was our ship president from the year before. And along with him and the other role models that I've seen throughout my years here in the ship, I plan to stand by them as well. As your president, I will continue to encourage our members to achieve greatness. I always get excited when I hear that a student gets an internship opportunity, a co-op, research experience, or that they competed and won in one of the national events. All of this success can be traced back to Ship UA because we have that great influence on our members. I plan to promote that success in our members and to give those tools necessary to succeed. When I ran my freshman year, I lost, but was that the end of it? No. It gave me a chance to consider, did I really run for what I was passionate about? I like to, I enjoy helping people, and it was the outreach events that really resonated with me. So after that, I ran for the La, La Familia Vice President and served the year after. Now going from La Familia to President is certainly, is certainly going to be a challenge because it's going to make me take a step back and oversee the chapter rather than looking at the finer details. For one, I'm going to be trusting my executive board to take care of that and also that our general body members will continue to be as part the participating members that they always are. As your president, I will play a role. <clears throat> to provide for our members, I will continue to develop my skills and to share in the feelings of accomplishing something that benefits both our familia and the community. I understand the difference between serving as a leader and being a boss. As president, I won't sit idly by and just give orders. That's just not my way of working. I will help my executive board and the members because I've been there. I know that keep, what keeps this organization running and that through, co through cooperation is how we reach our goals. My previous experience as a La Familia Vice President and an active member have given me plenty of insight as to what this chapter needs to run. I've seen the countless hours the Executive Board puts into planning their events and seeing them follow through. And I've also been that member that joins the committees, participates, and <clears throat> and also does what they can in the event planning, just to make it a little less stressful for the executive board members. I have also been helping in the Relay for Life event as an event lead. I have been communicating with other uh, board members to ensure that we are on task to have a suc successful event in the fall, which by the way, you're all invited, November 3rd, remember that goal of 800? Purple hair. <laughs> 
As for what I'd like to bring, I'd like to work with the academic coordinator to bring back that internal mentorship program. I believe that this is a way that we can encourage member interaction between under and upperclassmen. For those that don't know, mentorship pairs up freshmen and sophomores with juniors and seniors, all voluntary. And what the mentors will do is they're checking in with their mentees. They give tips, answer any questions that they might have. Knowing that you have someone that you can check in with and ask anything about this college experience definitely takes a weight off. And it shows that you're not going to have to go through this alone. And it's this same experience that I hope that our new members can experience in their first years of college. And that for the upperclassmen, that they can see those mentees follow through and achieve their success. Along with that, I'd like to work with the professional members to host casual socials. We already have pros versus Joes, but what about potlucks or some game nights? Maybe even another bowling night? Just something else to beat them in. <laughs> <laughs> now this would encourage member and professional interaction, and it would make it a little less stressful and intimidating to go to the career fair, because we'd be able to participate with our professional and SHIP alumni and get that experience. I'd also like to propose a new executive board position. This position would be Noche de Ciencias Vice President. This event reaches out to both students and adults, their parents. In it, students will learn about the different STEM fields that we have offered, that we have to offer, and parents learn about the college resources. The best part is that both parties interact with us, the college students, and they get to see, they get to learn from our experiences. Despite the success that we saw in the fall, I feel that it would lessen the stress on the executive board, especially since the executive board already has so much to do. However, I do want to shout, give a shout out to both Adriana and Trey for putting up an event, despite Adriana already having to run La Familia in the fall and Trey having his bi-weekly meetings. This isn't to say that it's not something that we can handle, that it's something we can't handle, but I feel that it would be in our best interest if we want to bring back Noche de Ciencias and grow from it to have someone in charge. Plus, we already have the experience with our various events as to how we plan a committee, uh, plan for the workshops, and see the event through. I think that it would be beneficial to encourage interaction between our engineering clubs not, and not hold off until that high stake and competitive time of E-Week, which by the way, we're taking back and there's no question about that next year. <laughs> Members can now expo can explore the different organizations that are here and specifically those that pertain to their majors and also mingle with their future, future classmates. Finally, I want to talk about accountability. Now this goes for both members and the executive board. An organization like this is nothing with its, without its participating members. As president, I will buckle down on our methods of communication to ensure that we can count our member participation as well as, our, as, well as from our executive board. We may have had a couple hiccups throughout the year, and if we ask our members to get their full participation in our events, then it's only fair that we do the same for our executive board, that they honor their word. Chip UA is built on cooperation and trust, and I want our members to feel comfortable enough to voice their opinions, to ask any questions, and to even pitch any ideas. After all, this is we're doing all this for them. I hope that not only my words tonight, but that also my actions throughout the semester have shown that I am truly passionate about this club. I care about this familia, and I want to see it grow. I have been honored to be your nominee for the president, and it would be my privilege to serve as your 2017 to 2018 Ship UA president. Thank you.